Well, it's a different type of pressure. I mean, on the one hand, he's done it, so that's amazing. Uh, on the other hand, uh, then uh, you're sort of the hunted more than you were in the past. And if you combine that with Wimbledon, I mean, this is the first shot where he's got a legitimate chance to finish number one and be number one for the year if he can get two majors. So uh, uh, after winning Wimbledon and defending and getting ready to defend the U.S. Open, that he's trying to peak at that moment. So it's, it's going to be interesting. I mean, there's uh, three, guy, three different guys, obviously, Rafa and Novak and Andy, they've won the three majors. And all three of them I feel if they win the U.S. Open, I think that they're going to deserve to be, be num called number one for the year. Well, I mean, to me, when Serena goes into any event, uh, she's uh, head and shoulders above anyone if she's got her A game. Um, as we all know, uh, in sports, that doesn't always happen. And occasionally, uh, no matter how great you are, you get knocked off if you're not playing your best. And, and there's certainly players out there that have done that and can do 